Yeah, um, let's go ahead and begin. So sit comfortably wherever you are. You can be cross-legged, you can have one or both legs extended forward. At the end of the day, if you wanted to lay down, you could definitely lay down as well. Just make yourself comfortable for the next few minutes while we get centered. If you are seated, sit tall. Shoulders relaxing down your back, feeling the crown of the head lift toward the sky. And let your eyes close. And bring your awareness to your body resting here. Maybe feeling just for a moment your body stop. And the day, the work day is over, at least to this point. And we come to a moment of stillness, a moment of not doing. A moment of being. Just feel what it feels like to be here in your body in this moment. All of the aches, all of the comforts, everything in between. What does it feel like to breathe your breath? The sensation in the nostrils, the lungs filling and emptying. What does it feel like for your mind to focus on the body and breath and not on external things? What does it feel like to be present with your current experience without projecting into the past or the future? Can you be here? Can you be with this body? Can you be with this breath? And as we move through our practice tonight, can you do your best to keep your mind grounded in this practice? Naturally, the mind will want to move on to other things and we'll just remind it to come back that this next hour that we have together, it's a moment just to be here. You don't have to be anywhere else. You don't have to do anything else. Giving your, the, yourself the permission to just be here, this moment. Let's take just a few more present breaths. All right, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath now. Bring your palms to your heart and bow your chin. Honor yourself as you are in this moment, body, breath, energy, and mind. And it's in this moment, it's for this body, for the system that we'll practice. Go ahead and rub the palms together. Nice warm palms, take them over the eyes. And then brush back over the top of your head, down the neck, bringing yourself back to your space. And let's start on our backs for the first few exercises. So moving any props you have off to the side and coming to lay on down. Good, hugging your knees into your chest when you get there, feeling your back body ground into the earth here. Good, now go ahead and take your arms down by your side and extend your legs toward the ceiling. Now, as you reach the heels toward the ceiling, pull the toes back towards you, feeling the backs of the legs lengthen. Deep breaths. So we're gonna be warming up the core a little bit here. That's why I'm having you do this. You might already start to feel some heat building around the navel. Try to keep your lower back grounded to the earth as much as you can, all right? So navel pulling back toward the spine, strong core here. Breathe. Deep breath in. And then exhale, bring your knees back into your chest, hug them in. 
Good. All right, we're going to do some more dynamic work now to get nice and warmed up. So knees to your chest, arms by your side. With your next inhale, lift your arms all the way overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. Exhale, release your arms back down to your side. So same movement with the arms, let's add the legs. Inhale, arms lift all the way overhead, legs extend toward the ceiling, pull the toes back. And then exhale, release, arms down, knees to chest. Inhale, extend, legs lift, arms overhead. Exhale, arms down, knees and toward your chest. Please keep on and going. And as you move in and out of this posture, try to keep, again, the lower back connected to the floor. Lengthening the legs, warming up the core. Let's do a couple more, all right? Good, so with your next inhale, leave your arms down, extend your legs toward the ceiling again, pull the toes back. Now, if you want to here, you can tuck your hands underneath your hips, and that'll give you just a bit more support for this next exercise. Taking a deep breath in, exhale, lower your right leg about four inches off the floor in front of you, extending forward. Inhale, lift the right leg back up. Exhale, take the left leg forward. Again, about four inches off the floor. Inhale, lift back up. Let's take both legs forward now, as far as you can. Inhale, pull them back up. Good, exhale, right leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, lift. Let's do both legs again. Inhale, lift. Good. Take the right leg forward this time. Go ahead and hold the pose. Breathe, extend through both heels, both legs straight or as straight as you can manage. Three, two, and one. Inhale, bring the right leg up, left leg forward. Hold the pose again, reach through the heels, both legs as straight as you can manage them. Core engaged here, breathe, breathe, breathe. And then inhale, left leg up. Don't think about it, just do it. Take both legs forward as far as you can. We're gonna stay for three breaths. Good, inhale, bring them up and hug the knees on in. Take a deep breath in and out here. <sighs> it might be a sigh as you exhale. It's a great way to relieve any of that tension in the belly. And continuing our warm up, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, curl your chin in towards your throat, bring your forehead up toward the knees, shoulders lift. Good, now let's stay up here. Core is engaged. Deep breath in. And exhale, release your shoulders and then your head back down. A little bit more work here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chin to throat, forehead lifts. Staying lifted, extend your arms forward, palms face up. And it's like you're trying to reach the fingertips as far forward as you can. Nice strong core here. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees in, release down. Mm, one more time, deep breath in. And exhale, chin to throat, forehead lifts. Curling yourself up as much as you can. Extend the arms forward, reaching the fingertips forward. And then extend your legs forward about 45 degrees off the ground. It's a low boat pose. And breathe. Two. And one, knees to chest, relax on down, feeling that warmth at the navel, at the belly. 
Hmm. Good, good. All right. Knees still into your chest. Go ahead and hold behind the knees or thighs with both hands. Good. Curl your chin up, forehead toward the knees. We're going to keep this curling of the back and then rock back to your shoulders and rock forward. Rock back and rock forward. Maybe up to a seat if you can do it. Back and forward. We're just going to keep going back and forward a little bit longer, massaging the muscles around the spine into the floor. And this movement is also helping to circulate lymphatic fluid throughout your body, helping to boost your immune system. And if you let it, it can be fun. <laughs> it can be fun if you want it to be. Rolling back and forward, back and forward. It's kind of a movement like a kid would do just intuitively. Let's do a few more, back and forward as much as you can. One more time, and then rock yourself up to a seat. And just feel sensation for a moment, that movement coming to a stillness. Noticing sensation in your body, noticing your breath your mind in the practice. Good, all right, deeper breath. And let's come on to hands and knees, table pose. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips or just a bit further back. Inhale, look forward, feel the tailbone lift. Exhale, go all the way back to child's pose. Seat to the heels, forehead toward the floor. Inhale, float back up. Exhale again, back to child's pose. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. A couple more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale up to hands and knees. This time, curl the toes under. Let's lift into downward facing dog. Now it's the first down dog of this class, so go ahead and walk it out a bit, pressing a heel to the floor and bending your opposite knee. Noticing where there's tension, breathing into that tension. Mm. Allowing your awareness to stay present how does it feel to be in this body? How does it feel to breathe with these postures? Good, one more breath. Then inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Exhale, release the feet, child's pose. Take your arms down by your side. Inhale. Sweep the arms out to the side, lift up onto the knees, reach your arms overhead, hero's pose, opening the heart toward the ceiling. Exhale with control, sweep your arms down, come back into folding child. Take the hands forward, hands on the floor, lift up to hands and knees, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, float gently back down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose, arms by your side. We're going to come into hero's pose again. Sweep the arms out to the side, lift up onto the knees, reach the arms overhead, and then exhale with control, come back down. Hands come forward. Inhale up to hands and knees. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let's keep flowing. Inhale down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose, arms by your side. Lifting up to hero's pose, so arms out to the side, coming onto the knees, heart lifts, exhale, release down. Hands forward, coming up to hands and knees, downward facing dog. We'll do a couple more rounds. Inhale, floating down. Exhale, child's pose, arms by your side. Inhale, coming up for hero's pose. Exhale, releasing down with control from your center. Take the hands forward, coming up to hands and knees, downward facing dog. Good, again, floating down. 
child's pose, arms by your side, hero's pose. Releasing. Hands forward, coming up to hands and knees, downward facing dog. And let's stay in down dog for just a few breaths, okay? Feeling length in the legs, feeling length in your spine, hip bones are reaching toward the sky behind you. Feeling this body nice and warmed up. We'll do a bit more to warm up, but just feeling it at this point. <laughs> Good, one more deep breath. And then looking at the space between your hands, please gently walk or step your feet forward between the hands. Stepping the feet forward, coming into the standing forward fold. Good, now here, press palms to shins, come halfway up, chest parallel to the ground, then exhale, fold back down. Let's do that again, inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold. One more time. And exhale, release. Please step your right foot way back and release the back knee to the floor. With your inhale, reach the arms forward, lift the heart, crescent lunge. Exhale, bring your hands down and step the right foot forward, standing forward fold. Good, palms to shins, halfway up. Then exhale, release down, step the left foot back. Good, back knee releases to the ground. Inhale, crescent lunge, lifting the arms up, turning the heart toward the sky. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Good, palms to shins, lengthen the spine forward. Then exhale, release down and step the right foot back again. We're gonna switch things up just a little bit here. So with your inhale, you're gonna lift your arms forward and up and then take the arms wide. Okay, so the arms are out to the side, palms toward the ceiling. This is the inhale. With your exhale, extend both arms forward, look down. Palms facing one another. Good, inhale, take the arms wide again. Exhale, reach them forward, look down. We'll do one more for this part. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, reaching forward. Deep breath in. Then exhale, hands to the floor. Go ahead and step forward. Good, palms to shins again, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold down and step the left foot back. Knee to the floor. Inhale, lift the arms up and then take the arms wide. Exhale, reach the arms forward, look down. Inhale, open back up again. Exhale, reach forward. One more time. Reach. Stay for the inhale. Then exhale, hands down, step forward, standing forward, fold. Palms to shins, halfway up. Exhale, release down. Let's do that again. Palms to shins, halfway up. Exhale, release down. One more time. And then exhale, coming into the forward fold. Let's stay. And your hands and fingers can just hang toward the floor. You can grab opposite elbows if you'd like. Just make sure the knees are slightly bent, not locked. And you can release your head. You can release the neck, the shoulders, the arms. Good, one more breath here. And then release the hands to the floor if they're not there already. Press palms to shins, come halfway up one more time. Exhale, fold down. And then inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a flat back, come all the way up to standing, reach the arms overhead. And palms to your heart. Feel sensation as you stand tall. Sensation in the body, the breath in your body, your mind's relationship to all of that sensation.
All right, so bringing your awareness back. All right, standing tall, have your heels underneath your knees. And we're gonna do some arm swings next. I don't think we've done this in a bit in this class. So this is a three-part inhale through the nose, one powerful exhale out of the mouth with this movement. So the movement is inhale, arms up, inhale, arms back, inhale up, and then exhale, jab the elbows back. So three-part inhale through the nose and that powerful exhale out of the mouth. It looks like this. Inhale, 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 exhale. <sighs> okay, and we're gonna do it for about mm, two minutes or so, so pace yourself, all right? Standing tall. When you're ready, inhale up, inhale back, inhale up, exhale, jab. Inhale, 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 exhale. Feeling the full rotation of your shoulder joints up and back. And of course, there's that powerful exhale out of your mouth. Feeling your navel pull into the body and up, helping to clear your respiratory system, helping to get rid of some of that stale toxic air that builds up in the base portion of the lungs, especially when our normal breathing pattern is quite shallow. <sighs> clear it out. <sighs> now, as I mentioned before, we're going for a full two minutes tonight. So I'm going at a certain pace. You don't have to go this quickly. You can definitely slow it down if you want to, but I encourage you to try to not stop if you can. Something happens to our nervous system once we get past the 90 second mark. We start to shift out of that fight or flight state, the sympathetic nervous system, and we start to ground into more of our resting state. <sighs> this actually becomes maybe somehow soothing after a while. <sighs> Not that we'll do it too much further past that 90 second mark, but <sighs> you can slow it down to any pace you want to, but just try to keep moving if you can. <sighs> Swing it out. You're a little more than halfway done. About 30 more seconds. Again, you can slow it down, but try to keep going if you can. Feel sensation, your breath rate, your heart rate, tingling in the arms and hands. Maybe a cooling sensation in the nostrils, maybe a expansiveness in the chest, oh, maybe the heart, the emotional heart feels a bit lighter. Good, deep breath in and out. <sighs> Bringing yourself on back. Good, we're gonna do a bit more with some of these uh, quicker movements. So go ahead and bring your hands onto your hips and just relax your shoulders. The feet are still stacking underneath your hips and that'll become important here in a moment because we'll be doing some shifting from side to side. So take a deep breath in. With your exhale, bring your right knee into your chest and then place it back down, I inhale. Exhale, left knee up, inhale down. Right knee, down. Left knee, down. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Keep going. 
and let it be a sharp exhale as the knee comes into the chest, feeling the navel pull back towards your spine. It's a lot like the exhales we were doing in the previous exercise. It's almost a clearing happening. Keep going. About 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Place the foot down. Release the arms, feel again. Heart rate, warmth in the belly. Good, good, all right. So a couple of options for this next exercise and which one you'll do will mostly depend on how much space you have around you. So if you have plenty of space and you can move your arms from side to side like this without smacking anything hard. <laughs> you'll take the feet a little bit wider than your shoulders, toes pointing outward a little bit, and you'll start swinging from side to side here. Back foot cheating up, allowing the hips to displace the arms, gently pattering the body. Now, if you don't have the space for that, you'll do the same thing from the neck down or from the, <laughs> from the torso down, but you'll have your hands on your shoulders instead and you'll do the movement here, keeping the upper arm parallel to the floor as you move from side to side, okay? So pick which one you wanna do and just start doing it <laughs> from side to side. For both variations, your back heel cheats up so the hips can displace. If you are moving the arms around, they're gently hitting the body with each turn. And then for all of us, your head looks behind you as you twist. Now there's no prescribed breathing rhythm for this exercise. Just make sure that you do breathe. So notice when that shallow breath comes in and see if you can deepen that breath. Swing in and out. It's a great one for both noticing and releasing tension along the spinal column. So from the lower back, all the way up through the vertebrae, the shoulders, the neck. Check in with your breath again. Take a deeper, fuller breath if you haven't done so in a bit. Where does your mind go? Can you drop your mind into your body? Just like our centering practice before. What's it like to be in this body in this moment? What does it feel like to breathe in this body, in this moment? Because no other moment exists right now. The past doesn't, the future doesn't. It's just here right now, this movement. This inhale, this exhale. I'm gonna go for about 30 more seconds. Take a deeper breath if you haven't done so in a bit. Three, two, and one. Unwind to center. Close the eyes and feel. Take steady, deep breaths. Noticing sensation wherever you're feeling it, whether it's your low back, maybe it's in the chest or the arms, tingling in the hands. Maybe it's a strong awareness of the muscles along the spinal column. Maybe it's the beating of your heart.
Taking another breath. And bringing yourself on back. Welcome back. Good. So before we go into our sun salutation tonight, I'd like us to do a, a quick squat, right? So go ahead and take your feet nice and wide. And then turn the toes out to the side about 45 degrees. Okay. Your hands can just rest on your hips for now. And maybe draw the elbows backwards slightly. By doing this, you make sure that the spine stays tall as we do this next exercise. Taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, bend your knees and take them out toward their toes. Good. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, sink in again. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, sink in. Inhale back up. Let's do a couple more. Good. Sinking in. Let's stay now. Good. Breathe. Maybe feel the lower abdomen pull up slightly, the pelvic floor engaged here, navel the spine. This will both help to keep the spine tall here, but also give you some deep root support as we hold this posture for just a bit longer. Keep the knees drawing out to the side toward their own toes. Three, two, and one. Straighten the legs, inhale. Good. So whichever direction is the front of your mat, go ahead and step in that direction now, standing tall, feet stacking underneath the hips and bringing your palms to your heart. And we'll go into our sun salutation next. We're going to revisit that lunge that we warmed up with earlier. Maybe do some more with it. We'll see what happens. So standing tall, aware of your breath. We move with the breath as much as possible. With your next inhale, sweep the arms down, back, and up. With your exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Press palms to shins, come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, release down, step your right foot way back. Back knee to the ground, inhale, crescent lunge. And as you lift up, open the arms wide. Exhale, reach the arms forward, look down. Inhale, open the arms up wide again. Exhale, reach forward. One more time. And then exhale, reach forward and take the hands to the ground. Go ahead and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, float gently down onto hands and knees. And exhale, child's pose, arms by your side. We're going to revisit hero's pose. Sweep the arms out to the side, lift up onto the knees. Inhale, reach the arms overhead and back. Exhale with control, releasing down. Take the hands forward, downward facing dog. Good, and down dog, lift the right leg high into the air behind you. And exhale, swing or carry, step the right foot between the hands. Help it through. If it only makes it part way, reach down and step it forward. Back knee to the ground. Inhale, lift the arms up, crescent lunge, take the arms wide. Exhale, reach forward, look down. Inhale wide. Exhale, reach. One more time. And then exhale, reach forward, plant the hands down, step forward, standing forward fold, palms to shins halfway up here. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms out to the side, come all the way up. Good, palms to the heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Palms to shins. And exhale, release. Let's step the left foot back this time. Back knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Lift the arms up and then take the arms wide. Exhale, reach forward, look down. Inhale, wide. Exhale, reach. Inhale, wide. And then exhale, reach forward. Place the hands down. Carefully step back into downward facing dog. 
Inhale, float gently down onto hands and knees, and then child's pose, arms by your side. With your next inhale, we'll come into hero's pose, arms out to the side. Let's lift on up onto the knees, reach the arms overhead and back. Exhale with control from your center, release down. Take the hands forward, inhale up. Exhale downward facing dog. So this time your left leg lifts into the air. Exhale, swing or carry step the left foot forward. Again, help it forward if you need to. Back knee on the ground. Crescent lunge when you're ready, lift the arms up, take them wide. Exhale, reach forward, look down. Inhale, take the arms wide. Exhale, reach forward, look down. Again, inhale. And then reach forward, exhale, then hands to the floor, step forward. Palms to shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, float down. Arms out to the side, come all the way up. And palms to the heart. Let's keep this energy moving, all right? Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Halfway rise. And then step the right foot back. Knee to the ground. Crescent lunge. Open the arms at the top. Exhale, reach forward, look down. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach, then place the hands down, downward facing dog. Hands and knees, table pose. Exhale, child's pose, arms by your side. Inhale, hero's pose, lift onto the knees, arms overhead, reaching up and back. Exhale with control from your core, release down. Good, hands forward, coming up to hands and knees, downward facing dog. Once you're there, the right leg lifts this time. Go ahead and bring that foot between the hands, helping it through, back knee to the ground, crescent lunge, lifting up, open the arms. Exhale, reach forward, look down. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. One more time. Hands to the floor, step forward. Good, palms to shins, lifting. Exhale, fold. Arms up to the side, come all the way up. Palms to heart. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway. And down, left foot steps back, please. Knee to the ground, crescent lunge, lifting up, open up. And reach. Open up. And reach. Inhale. Exhale, reach forward, hands down, step back to downward facing dog. Good, hands and knees to child's pose. Inhale, then exhale, arms by your side. Hero's pose, inhale, reach the arms overhead, lifting onto the knees. Exhale, with control, come back down. Hands forward, hands and knees. Downward facing dog, left leg lifts. Bring it on through, back knee to the floor, crescent lunge. Open, exhale, reach, open, reach, once more. Reaching forward, hands down, step forward, standing forward, fold, palms to shins, halfway up, inhale, then exhale, fold on down, sweep the arms out to the side, come all the way up, reach overhead, and palms to your heart. Hmm. Taking an adjusting breath again, be aware of what it's like to be in this body in this moment. What's happening in here? What's it like to breathe through this body? What's happening? We're gonna do one more final round. with some holds. 
and maybe some variations. We'll see what happens. With your breath, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, swan dive. Palms to shins. And release, right foot stepping way back, knee to the ground. Feel the hips sink down and forward. Inhale, come up for your crescent lunge. And then take the arms wide. And we're gonna hold here first. The palms are turning toward the ceiling, the shoulder blades pressing into your upper back, opening the heart, opening the chest. Breathe. Deep breath in. And then exhale, reach forward, look down and hold this posture. The arms are by your ears. And though you might feel some pressure of the chest on top of the left thigh, try to keep that light, the core engaged here, especially the lower back to make it so you just don't collapse down here. Keep some lift. Inhale. And exhale, bring the hands on down. Good job. Let's step back to downward facing dog. Inhale down onto hands and knees. And exhale, child's pose, arms by your side. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side. Lift on up to hero's pose. Exhale with control, release back down. Let's take the hands forward. And this time, just slither forward down onto your abdomen, coming down onto your belly. And have your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows bent, elbows squeezing in towards your side. With your next inhale, roll the shoulders down the back, lift the heart, lift the head, cobra pose. And then exhale, release down. Let's do that again. Roll the shoulders down the back, lift the heart, lift the head, cobra pose. Exhale, release. Third time's a charm. Inhale, coming back up, cobra pose. And exhale, come on down. Curl the toes under. Press the floor forward to push up to hands and knees and back to downward facing dog. Let's stay here for just a few breaths. Good, all right, go ahead and lift your right leg into the air and step it on through, help it forward and then back knee to the floor. Inhale, lift the arms forward and up. Take the arms wide and again, stay here, turning the palms toward the ceiling, feeling the shoulder blades press into the mid back, opening the heart, breathing deeply here, hips still sinking forward. Deep breath in and exhale, reach forward, look down, arms stay up by the ears. And though you are leaning into that right thigh a bit, keep some uh, lightness on that. Breathe. Deep breath in and exhale, hands to the floor. Good, let's go ahead and step the left foot forward. Hmm. Palms to shins, halfway rise. Exhale, folding down. Let's do that again, halfway up and down. I like threes this evening, so let's do one more. Exhale down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a flat back. Bring yourself all the way up, reach, and palms to your heart. Hmm. As is the theme of our practice, be aware of sensation internally, what's happening in your body, what's it like to be in this body, how's the breath, 
What's it like to breathe in this body? And can you let this be the only moment? Taking a deeper breath, bringing yourself back. Good job. We're gonna do one more standing exercise. So I'm gonna have you take your feet wide again on your mat, just like we did before. Nice and wide apart. Toes turning out to the side about 45 degrees. And this time, we're gonna come back into that same squat, but this time I'll have you lift your arms overhead and then relax your shoulders. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend your knees out toward their own toes. Sink down in. Good. This is going to be for your lower back. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, hinge at the hips. Bring your heart parallel to the floor. Arms stay up by the ears. Inhale, lift the chest back up, but keep the knees bending. Good. Let's do that again. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Coming halfway down. Inhale, lift all the way back up. Let's do that again. twice more, why not? <laughs> now, as you go forward this time to that halfway point, let's hold the posture. If it's too much to have the arms extending forward, you can bring them onto your hips. Or you can even go out to the side if you want to. The chest is parallel to the ground. You're breathing, hopefully. <laughs> Good, inhale, lift the chest, straighten the legs, reach up. Turn the feet parallel now, toes pointing directly forward. Then exhale, break the arms apart, fold over the legs. Wide leg standing forward, fold. All right, coming up halfway. Whichever direction is the front of your mat, go ahead and turn your body that way and step into downward facing dog. Good, inhale, float down onto hands and knees. And then drop your chest between the hands, coming down onto your belly, release the hips, hands under your shoulders once again. So feeling your hips ground with your next inhale, go ahead and lift the head, chest, and this time also the legs coming into locust pose. And we're gonna stay up here for just a few breaths. Feel the shoulders working down the back. Heart is looking forward. Feel your inner thighs lifting behind you and keep breathing. One more breath, lift up to your highest point. And exhale, release on down. Good. And then we're gonna roll over onto our backs from here. Let's go ahead and roll and scooch back onto your mat or however you want to get onto your back. And then from here, go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. All right, with the knees drawn in, take your arms out to the side, making a T-shape of the body. Now, if there's not room for that, you can do cactus arms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, take your knees to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take your knees to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the right, turn your chin to the left. Inhale, back to center. Knees to the left, please. Exhale, chin to the right. Inhale, back. One more time on each side. Knees to the right, chin to the left. Inhale, back. Knees to the left, chin to the right. Inhale, back. And then take the knees to the right and relax. Relax them to the right. Your chin can turn to the, to the left if that's comfortable on your neck. And feel your left shoulder 
anchor toward the ground here, your left rib cage spiraling back down toward the floor. If you'd like to, your right hand can rest gently on top of your left thigh. Good, taking a deeper breath. Go ahead and bring the knees back to center. Hmm. And then go ahead and take them to the left, please. Good. And as you take the knees to the left, you can turn your chin to the right. Feel your right shoulder anchor downward toward the floor. And your right rib cage kind of spiraling in that direction as well. Your left hand can rest on top of the right thigh if you'd like to. And breathe. Aware of this body. Aware of this breath, this inhale, and this exhale. All right, with your next inhale, come back to center. And hug your knees into your chest. It might feel good here to rock gently from side to side on your spine. It might feel good just to hold the knees still. Deep breaths. Now, as you feel complete in this pose, go ahead and extend your legs down to the floor for our final resting posture. Allowing yourself to uncross. Your heels are about a foot to a foot and a half away from one another, the toes falling outward. Your arms by your side, palms face up. Relax your throat, your jaw, and your eyes. As you begin to rest deeper here, just allow your mind to be trained on your breath. The most present thing that you can focus on is the breath. This inhale, this exhale. And to help ground that deep sense of presence that we worked so hard for tonight. As you inhale here in your mind, I have arrived. 
And as you exhale here in your mind, I am here. Inhale, I have arrived. Exhale, I am here. I have arrived. I am here. Peace. 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 I have arrived. I am here. Please take a deeper, fuller breath arriving here. Make gentle movements in the hands and feet, your arms and legs. When you're ready, roll to your right side. And coming on up to a seat as you feel complete here. Bring your palms to your heart, go ahead and lower the chin. Honor yourself as you've worked so hard tonight to arrive in this moment. You have arrived, you are here. All the effort, all the willpower, the determination, feeling gratitude to yourself, from yourself for all of that. And may all of that effort and this practice continue to serve you. So until next time, namaste.